Well, I've got a quick story about my predecessor, the late, great Congressman Henry Hyde. <clears throat> Henry, as you know, was the author of the Hyde Amendment, which has saved countless lives, denying federal funds for abortion. After he passed the Hyde Amendment, it became the subject of litigation. And the American Civil Liberties Union decided to track Congressman Hyde and his movements as he tells the story. And they were writing down, where is it that he's associating? Who is he talking to? Where does he spend his time? Because they wanted to know the motivation behind the Hyde Amendment. And they went in and they tracked him and they found him in church. And it was then admitted into the courts. And as Henry Hyde said, as only Henry Hyde could say, oh, a politician's dream to be caught in church. <laughs> I feel that same way, to be among you today, to be among people who are taking a stand and who are bearing witness to an incredibly important issue in this time in our public life together. Today's lectionary readings, if you listen carefully, you heard the Lord calling Samuel. He said, Samuel, Samuel, and after a while, Samuel figured out the Lord was calling him, and he said, here I am, Lord. If you read in the lectionary in John, the Lord Jesus was calling out the disciples and inviting them and saying, follow me. And that is our call today. What we have to do is not solve this. That's not our responsibility. Our responsibility is to be faithful. Our responsibility is to bear witness. And our responsibility is to speak out. So it is a great encouragement for me to be among you. It is a great encouragement, I know, for you to see people up here who are reflecting the values that we share. These are good days, and let's relish them together. Thanks be to God.